guys welcome back um hope everyone is doing okay during these times i am happy to be back recording i haven't posted a video since saturday and i was just uh i didn't like that feeling <laughs> Um, cause I meant to get this video up sooner, but I've been working from home with my regular job and it's just been nonstop busy. Like I'm not even getting to balance like breaks or like a lunch hour in between for that stuff. I'm just working nonstop early in the morning till, you know, a little late in the evening or what I feel like is late in the evening. And then, yeah, it's weird. I haven't had any me time, um, or balance. So Anyhow, I am back, as promised. Today I have the Cocoist kit. Now, if you followed my last video, um, I mentioned I was going to be doing this. They had super fast shipping. I think I ordered like a Tuesday or Wednesday morning at like 6.30 a.m. By 8 o'clock, they had already had it in the mailbox and it was to me by Tuesday. And I believe it, not Tuesday, Saturday. It ships from Texas. I'm in Washington State, like Seattle area um so yeah it came to me pretty quick I don't have the exact total like individually um but I think I paid like between 53 and 55 dollars for this all to come and that's like with sh shipping tax and everything um I would love to say that the nails are probably like 24 dollars maybe so maybe it's like 20 I don't know a little over 20 for that anyhow so this is, hopefully I'm saying it right, it's the Cocoist uh, set, and I ordered, this is the Coffin Long, so let's jump right in. Hopefully this will be a quick video for you guys. Um... It was hard not opening a package either like sorry usually when I get a nail package um I'm just like I have to open it right away and uh know what's going on but um I had to wait like a whole extra week so this kind of sucked um anyhow let's jump right in all right so with these I don't know if you can notice but they are like pre-etched, which is kind of cool. Um, so far, I've seen Extends do that. I don't know which one came out before. I would like to say maybe Extends was the first one to do the pre-etched uh, one. But this is a full cover nail. Like I said, I think you get about 500 pieces possibly. Or it says size 0 through 9, 30 pieces each. Oh my god. Okay, off first impression, that's why I said, oh my god. These look short. I would not call these coffin long. Um, yeah. Maybe for other people, it's funny, because maybe I'm just used to wearing long nails, especially when I used to wear acrylics. I wore my nails kind of long. So, this is not coffin long to me. Um, not to bash, but it's just not what I would consider coffin long. Let me see if I can find... I'll do like a comparison for you really quick to show you. Let me see if I can grab one. Oh. Hold on, guys. Sorry. I wasn't planning to compare it, but is this a medium? Okay, this is a medium by Opre. This is their vivid color tips. So that's about side by side, if you can see that. Um, hopefully they're level. They almost, I mean this, the tip right there makes it look longer. This is the Opre and this is the Cocoist. Um, it's a little foggy because it's cold down here. <laughs> and probably my breathing is making this nail fog up a little bit. I mean it does have a foggy look to it because it's pre-etched, but if you see any more fog, that's why. 
but they almost look the same size and length. So this is a um, Opre medium sculpted nail, and this is the Cocoist. According to them, this is coffin long. So that's interesting because I definitely feel like um, that's not that. I wouldn't call that long, but it depends. I'm gonna grab a long for you guys from Opre. Hopefully I'm on camera. So look, you see that? This is a sculpted Opre long nail. And then this is a coffin long nail according to Cocoist. So you might be in for a surprise or possibly a little bit disappointed if you wanted something. If you're expecting this length. Because um, you're not going to get it with that. I would definitely consider these more like a medium. Probably even... Yeah, I would consider them a medium. Anyhow, so let me not mix up my system. Or I think this one here. I don't know. Okay. So I just had to show you guys that just in case you were curious. Um, let me just set this to the side. Okay. So like I said, they're pre-etched. Let's look at the side view. It looks like it has a little bit of an apex. I don't know if you can see that. The cuticle seems about standard to me or what I would think was standard is kind of thin where you could probably file it or not file it. Most people do file it just to ensure a perfect seamless blend. So let's look at thickness. Can you see that? I, I feel like this could be a little bit thinner than what do you guys want me to compare it to want me to grab like a Kiara Sky Nail or I'm gonna grab a Kiara Sky Nail I'm all asking you guys like you can reply back <laughs> um let me grab a Kiara Sky all right This is Kiara Sky. This is a uh, Jellip. Hopefully you can see that. Um, hold on. I'm trying to get a good look at it. I feel like this could be the Kiara Sky could be a smidget thicker than this one. I don't know if you guys are noticing that too. I feel like it looks a little bit thicker. Um. For their side profiles, it looks about the same. I know you can't see that, but I just wanted to give you a comparison. But anyhow, um, I've been watching a few demos that I did see posted. What number is this? I don't know where I got that from. Oh, well. I've been seeing, um, there's not a lot of videos up, but for the ones that I did see, I was, um, it was interesting because I know with the pre-etched thing, it makes it a whole lot faster. But one thing I noticed is they weren't priming the nail. Like the, you literally just had to prep your nail, dehydrate with some alcohol or acetone. You wipe the inside of the nail with alcohol um, and you apply, you know, your gel. There was no primer. So I'd be curious to see how that holds up. Now, I can't promise you that I will be wearing this for a long time because... I have to do a whole bunch more videos <laughs> like I think I have um, some poly gels coming possibly some sort of dip powder system possibly I've never done dip powder you guys so I'm late to the party but I will probably do it on camera for you guys um, to show you my experience with it I wish these were numbered you know like without having usually the box like there's a number system up here and if you notice there's not I don't even know I guess I'll have to see how this goes this is interesting anywho I'm getting ready to prep my nail off camera really quick it's already washed so I'm just gonna kind of buff off the shine and then we'll go into applying all right so I went off camera removed the shine and tried to prep my nail I did not use any drill for this I'm just trying to get through this to give you guys a quick demo um but yeah, 
So I'm gonna size my tips really quick and then I'll go into dehydrating and you know all that good stuff. So I guess I'll leave the camera on for this part. Uh, maybe so, you, well, I don't even know if it matters. It's gonna say so you guys can see or I can tell you if I found the sizing consistent or not. This might be too big. Actually, I'm going to go off camera and do this and I'll let you guys know. So just coming back for a quick observation, these do run big, um, bigger than standard. Cause like this is a zero and I'm usually a zero in thumb, but I still have extra room over here. Um, I'd almost compare it m maybe, hold on, let me see. This is a, okay. So this is like a, you know, Couture XX long nail, right? And I know these were made for wider nail beds. I almost feel like if you see, I don't know, like there's extra space over there. I feel like this could be, there, I feel like this is bigger. I think it is bigger. You guys see that? So this is actually wider. If you have some people with wider nail beds, this might be an option for you guys. So that's exciting because I know it's a challenge for people or some people have to buy the size up with like Opre. I haven't tried the double like zero nail from Opre yet to see how that works, but this could be comparable. I don't know, I don't have one to compare. But like for me, I'm usually a zero and I'm like a two fits really nice without like a lot of pressure. Um, everything else was sized down. So like for this finger, um, I'm usually a three in most systems for my middle. And it was actually like a four. And then these, I'm like a four, but I used a five for the gel up. Um, but my thumb, I had to size two sizes down for that. So that's interesting to know and could be a good thing for you guys. All right. So let me wipe my hands off with alcohol to cleanse my nail bed a little more. All right, so I'm gonna take this bonding duo in a bottle. They do have a potted version. Oh my God, my curing light is on. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, they do have a potted version if you're more comfortable with that and using like a full brush. Now it is cold down here, so that's probably why my gel looks a little bit thicker. Um, I'm just gonna do a thin coat on the nail and here. As I mentioned, I didn't see like a primer system, so um, or at least the videos didn't see anything and a lot of people said it had, well not a lot of people, the videos I said, said it had good adhesion, I think. So I'm just doing a thin layer. So let me finish up the rest of these nails and I'll be right back. Actually, I guess I can just show you. I just didn't want the video to be extra long. I want to be able to put it up right away without too much editing or speeding up. I think this black stuff is like glitter that keeps getting on my nail. Yeah, I have a lot of, um, I was working. I cleaned out my nail room, like the nail drawers and stuff and got rid of a lot of things and sorted through things. And there was like a lot of spilt glitter, so. You know, glitter takes forever to get rid of. All right, so I saw something that said if you had the Cocoas lamp, then you only needed to cure like 20 seconds. Any of the hybrid lamps were like 30 seconds. And then, um, I don't know if like a UV lamp or something by itself would be two minutes. So I'm gonna cure for a about 30 seconds and I'll be right back. All right, I have that cured. The next step is to wipe the insides of the tips with alcohol. So I'm gonna do that to all of the nails. I'll 
be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, okay, I was looking for my crystal finger. And I'm using my XVX hands-free lamp that has the foot pedal. Um, I've seen you guys ask, I guess you haven't seen my videos yet, um, that I posted on this lamp, but it is amazing. I'm pretty sure a lot of the people, um, subscribers, will say the same thing. Like, if nothing else, if even if you don't like the system from there, the lamp is amazing and worth getting. I think they're sold out right now, but they're offering, like, free shipping if you place the order now and just wait for it to come back in stock. So, yeah. This is the lamp. It's hanging on my desk. Let me see if I can move my camera over a little bit. Or, hold on. Um, I think I'm just going to have to work over here, you guys. I don't want to move too much. Alright, so I'm taking this bonding duo gel. I think I grabbed too much. Oops. It came out kind of thick. I should have wiped it. Um, Alright, got my foot on the pedal. So it's going to be the same kind of process. You're going to kind of rock it on, start at the cuticle. I heard that this stuff was good enough where if you let it go, it would stay. So let's see. No. <laughs> or maybe that's just me. I don't know. I had saw someone say that. Or let me try to push it down a little more. Now I wish I didn't lift it because there's like gel seeping out. And I'm getting air bubbles. Okay, let me <laughs> let me try this again. This one's gonna come out that good, so don't hold it against me. I was struggling. They do have a beetle lamp, if you guys are interested. I think it's on their site. It looks just like the Opre X light or the McCart light that you've seen me post. Um, I don't know how long you flash care for. Alright, so I do have a little bit of gel right there. I don't have much of a free edge or nail for that. And it seems like it would have been hard to clean it with the brush. I mean, I might have been able to. But this is what it looks like on me. This is the coffin long. So as I mentioned, it's not like super long. But this would be an, a good option if you had wide nail beds. Let me move on and keep applying. And then I will tell you about well you've kind of already seen my first impression but i'll wrap up and give you my final thoughts on the system hopefully that's straight yeah i'll probably be soaking these off like right after maybe it depends i have a shipment coming today um and so yeah and then I have a shipment coming tomorrow too so it depends I don't think I'm gonna decorate these on camera I'll see how I feel so a lot of salons and stuff are shut down during the coronavirus 
um, COVID-19 stuff going on. Are you guys shut down too or still taking clients? I've seen the debate in a lot of nail groups because some people are, um, who are home techs are still taking clients during this time while the shops are closed. I'm personally not. I almost like thought to because um, a lot of my clients were hitting me up and booking on my website. And then literally the day of the appointments, this was like last week, I think. Um, I just got scared, like panic set in, you know? And I'm like, I'm not doing these nail appointments. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to get sick or anything happen or... You know, maybe one of my clients has it and passes on to the next client who comes. And I was just panicking. So I canceled all my appointments, refunded everybody right away and just told them, sorry, you know, closed till further notice. Um, I have a tentative date set for, I think, like April 8th. But it depends. Like right now we have the shelter in place thing going on where we're not supposed to really be making contact with people like that. Um, unless you have to like go out to grocery stores and stuff. I get air bubbles in this one. I think I got like some tiny air bubbles in that one. These look so small to me, you guys. Oh, a little handy tip about the light. I had included it in my like comparison of flash cure lights. So the um the owner of the company reached out to me about the XVX light and told me if you um because one thing I pointed out was make sure to turn the light actually off because it clicks on and clicks off. Um, he said if you want to like have it where the light's not fully on, just lightly press on your foot pedal. Don't press all the way down. If you press all the way down, then you're activating the on switch completely and it's going to stay on until you actually click it back off. So if you gently press down a little bit with your foot pedal, um, it'll, it'll come on. So like right now you don't hear the click, but I'm pressing down. And it's curing so yeah I don't have to, that's the full click right there where it's on and you're gonna have to click it back off so he did reach out about that to tell me but yeah I, I see people taking appointments um, I'm not I did offer press-ons to people and if you do have these gel systems like a lot of them pretty much can be used as press-ons so I know a lot of people use the Opre system. You could probably use, there's like a company called BTA, BTA Artbox on um, Amazon that sells press-ons. The only thing is it's kind of hard to uh, find them now because Amazon pushed back a lot of the delivery dates on non-essential things. So you'll notice when you go on Amazon, a lot of stuff's not gonna ship till like end of April, which is disappointing. But if you have these tips and you're looking for a way to, you know, maybe make money without coming in close contact with people, Press-ons would be a good option right now. I'm pretty sure their business is booming right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not willing to make contact with people. Non, yeah, I'm not willing to do that right now. But no judgment from me if you are. I understand this is a way, like a lot of people's way of their income, their living how they make money and survive. So there's no judgment from me. It's just me personally. I'm not taking clients. So, so far this was fast and easy to put on like anything else. I do feel like the gel is a little bit more runny and it's been down here for a couple days, like sitting here cold. Um, it comes out thick, but just pressing it on, it feels like it runs out a lot quicker. I could be wrong, but just off my observation. All right, you guys. It looks like I didn't do too bad. I didn't do too bad on this. You know, first the worst, second the best. That's what they say. But this is what they look like. They do feel sturdy. I'm trying to do the bend, the bend test. And it's crazy because, well, I would imagine they would hopefully feel sturdy because they don't have a whole lot of free edge. I mean, on me, they do because my nails are short and bitten, but it's not like a whole lot like how I wear it. Like, this is a long nail. These are looking crazy right now, but I've been trying to pick these off instead of soak them, so that's why they look crazy. 
but these ones, you know, they would definitely need more of like an apex. This has like a little bit of an apex. You can always build one with your gel if you're not happy with it. Um, I And I also believe you can do fills with this possibly. I thought I saw a video on it, but it wasn't really clear. I don't know if they were doing gel nails completely, like using this as a nail and sculpting with it, but I did see them do a fill with this, but I couldn't tell if it was on a gel lip nail or not. So it's quite possible you could. They do feel good. Um, Like I said, it's a bit of a C curve there. I'm just not happy with the length. Whatever. I love the pre reffin thing, and if you notice, it goes away, like that gray, like cloudy area right there. It does go away once you, you know, put it on. So after this, you would pretty much file. You could take your cuticle uh, bit or your drill and go around this area and buffin this to remove the shine. And then you can go into your art and stuff. Or like I said, if you want to make these even stronger, you can go in and use this stuff and do it. So, so far, I mean, I guess it depends what you're looking for. So far, just off first impression, I haven't wore them for a long time. I will give them a thumbs up just because of pricing and the sizing and the pre reffin thing. And I guess depending on how long this lasts, the fact that I didn't have to use primer, that was like a super quick, you know, we just went right in to doing nails. I'll have to see how long they last. I don't know if in this video I'll find out because like I said, I have other videos to do. I'm like a week behind. Um, I'm just a little disappointed with the link. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so blind. I kept saying 500 pieces. It says 300. So, oh, that's interesting. I don't know why I thought 500 and it said that on there. So excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, 300. Now that's interesting now. But yeah, so far thumbs up. I like it. I just don't care for the length. The fact that it is a uh, short, but for those of you with wider nail beds, you are going to like this. And if length is not a problem for you or your clients, you will like this. And at the price range, it's pretty good. Um, I am still planning on comparing all of the systems together. Somebody did ask me to put one nail on each of my nails from each system and wear it for a while and then let you guys know how it goes. I might actually do that. I'm just trying to see if I'll be able to type in them. Um... I think the hardest one will be if I put on the XXL now from 123GO. Um, if I put that on, I'd probably have to wear it on my thumb or somewhere that's not messing with my keyboard when I type for work. But I might do that just to show you guys how easy or hard it is to apply each system and stuff and how long they last. But yeah, so far thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Um, I think the only bummer is that now, like I said, the length and the 300, I didn't notice that. So, um, kind of reminds me of how, of how Opry has the, the Chon Legend tips, but you only get like 250 or something, I think, of those. But at least this isn't as expensive as the Chon Legend set, so that's good. But yeah, so far so good. It's affordable. Um, you may want to check it out if you're a do-it-yourselfer or like a salon, you know, salon quality. Alrighty, you guys, stay safe. I will check in with you guys later.